Hello and welcome to Die Hard United, the one stop for everything Manchester United. I'm here to bring you all the latest Manchester United transfer news coming out today as we are heavily linked with a new striker, someone who's going to come in and compete with Rasmus Holland in that number 9 position. His name is Joshua Zexi. He's a Dutch striker. He's 23, he's 23 years of age and we're going to talk about that deal and what's happening with it. Also, an update concerning Gerard Brightweight and the latest concerning that also, Victor Lindelof is being linked with four clubs, and we have some news concerning Amabat, Bruno Fernandes, and Jean Claire Tudibo. Stay tuned for everything. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment concerning everything talked about today. Share, 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 share. Please do share this video. Share it to as many people as possible because this is the transfer season. We need to be updated concerning everything concerning the club. So don't forget to share this video, like, share, subscribe, and follow, and let's get shit into everything. And according to David Einstein, a very good transfer journalist, he says um, United are exploring a deal to sign Dutch striker Joshua Zexi from Bologna. And the club to club talks have not yet taken place, but United are speaking to the 23 year olds representatives and their interest is advanced. And according to Simon Stone, another journalist, he said United are interested in signing Joshua Zexi and are considering whether to make a bid. There have been communication with the player's advisor, and that is it. Who is, who is Joshua Jexy? He's 23 years of age. He has a 34 million pounds with this clause. Very cheap. Um, he is not your traditional striker. He's, he's, if you want to compare him to a striker, he's like Femino, he's like Marshall, he's like Harry Kane. He likes to drop in deep. He likes to dribble with the ball. He's not like Rasmus Hoyland. So we're going to, if we're going to sign him, we're going to have two different kind of um, striker at the number 9 position. He likes to run with the ball. He's kind of striker that can assist his wingers. He doesn't really depend on his wingers to create chances for him. He's the type that comes down to the midfield, takes the ball, runs with it, dribble with the ball, and, and he's kind of um, striker that can pass the final ball to the player like Ganacho or Ahmad in the, in, the, in the wings, and they go in and they score a goal. So that's the kind of striker he is. not the one that will wait up front and you give him the ball before he tries to shoot. This guy... We go back to the midfield and do the work. Um, he's a dribbler, like I said. He is not a natural finisher. He still has some improvement in him. According to people, he's not, he's not, he's not, he's not going to come in and tear the Premier League. He's going to come in and also develop. He's 23 years of age. He's even older than Rasmus Hoyland. But what is, the thing is, we're going to, we're, if we get him, we're going to have two different kinds of strikers and that both need development, but not but are not far away from get from being like the Finnish article, right? Two to three years is enough for them to um to become that Finnish article. But still, while they're developing, they are still a major threat and can still improve our team, improve our style of play. And it is positive that we're being linked to a new striker. And with 34 million pounds being his release clause, that's the deal we can look to get done. Let's see um, what happens with that. Don't forget, right here, we're going to give you all the updates concerning Joshua Zexi. To United, but according to Fabrizio Romano, AC Milan are more advanced in that deal. But the reason why deal that, that why that deal has stalled to AC Milan is probably because not probably is because his agent is demanding almost twelve million pounds, twelve million euro to complete that deal. So AC Milan are not willing to pay that, but are United going to pay as much as that to get that deal done? And of course, since United have come into that deal, Joshua Zexi probably wants to come to United over. AC Milan. And also, Ten Hag is very, very much interested in this player. So, it's like, you know, everything is coming into place. But let's see what happens with that um, in the coming days, in the coming weeks. Let's see if we put in a bid. He has a release clause, so we don't really, we don't really have to negotiate anything with, with, uh, with Bologna. We just have to pay the release clause and move on. So, the main negotiation is with the player and his representative. So, that's it. And to Gerard Brightweight, United are sitting and waiting for Everton to come to their senses and come back um, with a reasonable fee, reasonable fee and so we can negotiate with them and agree to something way better than the 70 or 65 million pounds that they are expecting. So we are in, in that deal. We have not gone out of that deal. We have not pulled out. We are still in that deal. We are hoping that everything can come to their senses and be reasonable and make that deal done, right? But all we have to do is just wait. There's no major update on, on Gerard Brightweight. Other than we are waiting to see if everything come to a reasonable um, 
to, to come, to, uh, if Everton simply comes, cools down and are ready to negotiate for a reasonable fee. That is the update on Gerard Brightweight. And for Victor Lindelof, he's been linked with, um, Inter, Fenerbahce and two other Saudi pro league clubs that have not been mentioned. So Lind- Victor Lindelof is going to leave United. I wonder how much we're going to get for him. 10 million, which is still very poor, but he has one year left on his contract, I think. So, what can we do? But Victor Lindelof is going to leave and let's see how much money we, we're going to get from him. Mourinho is, interest- is interested in him. Inter had been linked with, well, Inter was linked with him last summer. He didn't go. So let's see what happens with Victor Lindelof this summer. Also coming in is the reports that Amrabat could stay at United for around 21.4 million pounds. If we United want to keep Amrabat, we have to pay that amount, 21.4 million pounds to keep Amrabat. I thought it was around 17 million, but the report today says 21.4 million pounds. Let's see how that goes. But leave a comment. Would you keep Amrabat or would you, would you, would you send him back to Fiorentina? And would you pay 21.4 million pounds just to keep Amrabat? Leave your comment in the comment section. And to Bruno Fernandez, uh, he says that United are expecting his agents to, after the summer transfer window, to come in and request for a new contract for him. Um, and that will be done after the summer transfer window. Maybe they increase the salary a little bit, but I don't think maybe they might, I don't know, I don't know if they might give me a fresh new contract. Bruno is around 29, yeah, or 30. Oh, it's going to be 30 or so. So I don't think he's going to get a huge four-year deal, five-year deal at the club. I'll probably give him something smaller than that. I don't know. But United are expecting his agents to come and, and request for a new transfer very soon. But not in this summer transfer window. We are not interested in giving anybody any new contract during the summer transfer window. All, all our focus is in selling and buying players and not giving anybody any new, any new contract. But let's see. After, after the summer transfer window, Bruno Fernandes probably isn't the only player that's going to get a new contract. But let's see. In the middle of the season, September, October, November, maybe he might get his new contract. So that's all the news coming out today. Like I said before, Joshua Zexi, minds that are really interested in him. And I'm talking to his representative and a deal could be done for our second striker. Also, Dred Brightweight, mind that are hoping that Everton can be more realistic with their asking price for Brightweight. And if they are, and if they come to their senses, then we will negotiate with them. But for now, we are waiting. Also, Victor, Victor Lindelof is reportedly linked to four clubs. Let's see what happens with Lindelof. I'm about to stay if United pay 21.4 million pounds to keep him. New contract for Bruno Fernandes after the summer transfer window. This all coming out today, um, this evening. Don't forget, this is Diehard United, the one stop for everything Manchester United. I'm going to be here to give you everything as they come. Don't forget to like this video. Follow, 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 share, 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 um, subscribe, and I will see you all on the next one.